To me, a, a road trip is the most American way to travel. There's personal discovery and there's a discovery on a larger sense of just like going to these huge places that you've never been. And we've been on an all-American road trip from Denver to Seattle, Washington. We've driven a lot of miles together in a van and gotten to know each other pretty well. My name is Scott Kranz, a Seattle-based photographer. My name is Nick Lake and I'm a freelance photographer based out of Seattle, Washington. My name is Victoria and I'm a creative, an entrepreneur, and a community leader from Canmore, Alberta, Canada. And there was a variety of different routes we could have taken, but you know, the states that we covered, I think couldn't be a better representation of the American West. It's just this huge line of beautiful mountain ranges from the Colorado Rockies to the Tetons to the Sawtooth and to the North Cascades. I mean, it just, one after another, gorgeous mountain ranges and gorgeous landscapes all along the, the roads that we're driving on. Rocky Mountain was new and Rocky Mountain was pretty amazing. It's a place that I've wanted to get to for years. I'd seen pictures. I think, strangely enough, I hadn't done a ton of research before getting there and it ended up being just absolutely outstanding. There's, a, there's something special about that place where you just drive up so high and you start up so high and that's something Living in Seattle, you start at sea level, and so you work for every little tiny bit of elevation you get. And here in Colorado, you can just cruise right up the road and suddenly you're 12,000 feet up and you can't breathe, but it's awesome. And there's peaks rolling around everywhere and it looks like you're in several different countries at once. I do believe that experiencing these public lands and sharing about these public lands is is how we get people to care about them. You share like the power they have on you and how they might change your life or change your outlook on life. And I believe you protect what you love, and I think you only love what you know and appreciate. For me personally, when I'm taking photos and, and, and looking at the landscape, I'm, I'm looking at it in a different way. I'm noticing things that I maybe otherwise wouldn't notice, and I feel like I better appreciate the details, big or small. We are currently catching sunrise at Schwabacher Landing. Absolutely pristine meadows and creeks and rivers and wildlife is common as well. So it's, it's cool to see everybody getting out, experiencing the scenery here and just taking in these beautiful moments. Just, you know, seeing what movement there is in the clouds or or what, what light we're um, you know, experiencing, and um, that kind of dictates how I'm gonna capture the, the landscape in front of me. We started out this morning with almost complete cloud coverage, but it just slowly lifted, and those are some of my favorite experiences in the mountains, when you, when you arrive at a place and the, the weather is either poor or overcast, or it's you know, socked in, but then it like just slowly fades away, and it, you know, it's this big reveal. I, I, that's always a special experience. Cooking is one of my favorite things to do in addition to drinking coffee when I'm on the road. I love to go and spend the whole day outdoors and come back and make something delicious together to enjoy. And it's really interesting for me because I have a passion for food to figure out, okay, how do I pare down a meal that at home has this plethora of ingredients to just like a few basic ingredients and create something like really delicious and fresh and like filling. You don't have to sacrifice to make a full meal. So it's not hard. I find that when we come back to camp and get to cook a meal together, that's really special. After Colorado and Wyoming, we were very much looking forward to getting into Idaho because we knew that when we were going to reach the Sun Valley area, we were going to connect with Eddie Bauer guide and athlete Eric Leidecker. It was really cool going on the trail with Eric first up to the Pioneer Cabin because I think that that's a really like special way to get to know somebody is to just literally spend a few hours outdoors with them hiking. So we just hiked up to Pioneer Cabin in the Pioneer Mountain Range east of Sun Valley. Well, I think one of the great things about Idaho is how much, how much public land we have. I mean, we're surrounded by national forests. We're so fortunate to have amazing trails and just amazing access to all these wild places. 
It's sort of like the crown jewel of Idaho mountains. You can't leave here and not be affected by it. When people experience the outdoors like this, it can help spread the word about climate change or about leave no trace practices. I think that has just sort of positive benefits that we can't measure. Yeah. That's how you do it. <laughs> so tomorrow we're going to the Sawtooth. It's a rugged, granitic range, heavily glaciated. It's a really remarkable kind of zen mountain range. And we're gonna go climb into a place called the Super Slabs, which is like a you know 600 foot high granite apron, super smooth, glacial, polished um, in Redfish Canyon. And it's, it's definitely one of the most scenic parts of the Sawtooth. I'm just gonna work my way to that spot. Well, first off, Eric is a boss. Uh, that dude is awesome. Hilarious, just knows so much about everything around there. You're attached directly to the anchor. A uh, humble guy. And it was cool to see his backyard through his eyes. He just takes such pride in the area that he lives in. And uh, it was just a pleasure to have him show us his home range and why he loves his home range. As a mountain guide, even though we do tend to visit a lot of the same places, what's always different is that you're always with different people. So you always get to experience their sort of awe and their discovery and their sort of enthusiasm and enjoyment over and over and over. Yeah, buddy. I think the beauty of a road trip, especially in the United States, is that it's naturally going to be a very personal experience. Like we have this, we have this sort of set of landscapes. We have all these places that we have in common that we share. They're our public lands. They're the places that we, as like a country and as a culture, have set aside to be special places that are supposed to stay and exist the way they are, so we can experience them. But the way that each one of us goes and experiences those places is where it becomes individual and personal. And so for us, I don't, I don't know if we're doing anything specifically to make it our own, except that we're the ones doing it. And that it's our eyes that get to see these places and our feet that get to walk these trails. And it ends up, I think, meaning something different for everybody who gets to experience those things. On a more general level, when we're taking photos, taking video, we're able to share these, these experiences and these places with others. And it's been amazing to get the feedback that we've gotten, you know, you know, oh, I, I, I've never been to this park and you guys have encouraged me to get out there this year. Or, oh, it's been so long since I've been to this park. I wanna, I wanna revisit and experience what you guys, you know, are experiencing. Thanks for the reminder. And it's, it's great to get that feedback. And after you share what we've experienced, and that's that's kind of like reaffirming like why we're sharing it in the first place. It's not to it's not to say, oh, I've had this cool experience. It's to say, hey, look at this amazing place that is ours. It's our public land, and uh, you know, take advantage of it, protect it, respect it, soak it in, and don't take it for granted. Everybody, greetings from Washington State. We made it from Colorado to Wyoming, Idaho, and now back to my home state. Currently in the Palouse of Eastern Washington. And uh, after hitting a variety of states and national parks, we finished in my home state, Washington State, and and one of my favorite places in the world, the North Cascades. Uh, I can't imagine a more magnificent mountain range. Uh, you know, the most jagged, rugged, remote peaks that I've been able to experience firsthand. And uh, it, it couldn't be a more special way to end the trip and to, um, you know, have this group there to hike my local landscape. I think the concept of discovery, it's why we do this, it's why we travel. The lives we live, I think, tend to be pretty well self-contained. and. 
it's easy to kind of go along on a path that doesn't doesn't diverge very easily unless we force ourselves to kind of step off that sort of main path. But I think to a certain extent, traveling is this is this really like active act. It's something that you have to make the decision to do. The world's a big place and so many people are so different and so many places are so different. And when you expose yourself to those sorts of things, it helps you grow as a person. I am just grateful once again that we have this big backyard here to set out in, drive to, and experience ourselves. I feel like, you know, years ago I probably took for granted these wild places, these public lands, and now having these opportunities to get out and drive across the American West and experience these places, I feel like I am, I'm no longer taking them for granted. I'm experiencing them and I'm living the life that I want to live. It's always bittersweet to end a road trip like this because it's, it's something you look forward to for so long. And it's like the motion of a road trip is this like constant forward moving, right? Like you're, you're in a different place every couple days. The, the breadth of the experiences that you're having is wide. It's almost like you finally take a breath when you get home. And it's nice to get home, it honestly is. Like, that, the change again feels great. But knowing that you're not gonna have that new experience every day, knowing that you're not gonna open your van door to a different landscape every day, um, it's both satisfying and also kind of leaves the door open for something along the line. You're ready for the next one at that point because you wanna get back out on the road. <laughs>